saw you I was so nervous to talk Happened so fast Went from so lonely To falling asleep in your arms I used to be afraid to fall in love My past relationship was a disaster But now I don't care Cause you took my Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my very requested house update house tour. So I think the last house tour I filmed was seven or eight months ago. It was a while ago now. And I like to do these ever so often because you guys know I update my house all the time um, and I'm constantly sharing like all like new things and stuff like that and you're always like to me please can you just film an updated house tour we want to know where everything's from so I thought we could in today's video I'm also decorating for autumn next week and I thought okay I need to quickly film this video before I decorate because obviously the decor is going to be very different and then I might film like an autumn house tour maybe let me know what you think in the comments down below before i jump into this video make sure you guys have got yourself your favorite drink i've currently got an oat like cappuccino latte kind of thing and it is so warm and cozy and i really hope you guys are excited for today's video so before i jump in the video i thought i could show you guys the bedroom first but I want to say a massive thank you to Emma for partly sponsoring today's video. So if you haven't heard of Emma, which I'm sure you guys have, they sell the most amazing like mattresses. They've also got beds and stuff now as well. And like pillows and stuff like that. We have got a new mattress and it is the Emma Premium Mattress. And I thought I could show you guys in this video because it is the most amazing mattress. When we moved into this house, I think two years ago, we were like, we just want to get a new mattress. Bradley's side, like obviously with our old mattress, his side had gone down and my side was up. So like if I'd rolled over like a little bit to his side, I'd kind of go down. Um, and for so long we're like, we just need a new mattress. So I'm just so excited to be working with Emma. Um, and before I talk to you guys about them, they've really kindly given me a discount code for you. So if you use the code AmyRose5, you'll get 5% off everything from Emma. And that is also on top of all ongoing discounts and promotions as well. So if you go on the website and you're like, oh my god, they've got discounts, maybe the code won't work it will work. So it's so kind for them to give it on top of that as well, which is amazing. So when you receive your Emma mattress, it comes very compact in a box, which is one thing that I really love about it. It just makes it really easy to be delivered to your house. It's easy to set up. And I really like the whole concept of it. So we went for the Emma Premium mattress and you get a comfortable sleep from the enhanced support that the hybrid technology brings, which is amazing. The cooling comfort springs allow improved breathability to keep your body cool and dry, even on the hottest night. We've had some really hot nights here recently and I can confirm it's been amazing for that. It's also got ultimate support, which dynamically adapts to your body as you change its sleeping positions in the night as well, which is just incredible. I always think like, how do they do it? Like, how does this technology do it? But it works. So obviously when your mattress comes, it's very compact in the box, which obviously means it is vacuum packed. I mean, I don't think the mattress would be that size. So it's super easy to do. You literally take it out of the box, simply unravel it, take it out of the packaging and leave it for two to six hours to just expand to the full size. It has all the instructions in the box as well. So if you're unsure, make sure you read them before. You also get free shipping and returns. There's also a 200 night sleep trial, 10 year warranty and also removable and washable covers. That is just such a handy feature. It's honestly the softest material ever. I'm so happy we went for the Emma Premium mattress because our night's sleep has literally been the best since we've had it. We struggled to get to sleep for ages, especially I'd say the past year we've been struggling to get to sleep and we were like, we don't know why. I'm not even joking, as soon as we got this mattress, it was like everything changed. If you're looking for a really comfortable, soft, amazing, supportive mattress, Emma is incredible and I really couldn't fault it. Like I said, you can use my code AmyRose5 and you'll get 5% off Emma and obviously that's on top of any ongoing discount codes and promotions that they have as well. I'm going to pop a link for you guys in the description box down below if you guys wanted to shop. And if you're looking for a new comfy mattress, we spend so much of our time sleeping, watching telly in bed, going on our phones in bed. It is really important to have such a good night's sleep. I remember my dad always used to say to me, it's really important to get luxury bedding, meaning your mattress, your quilt, your pillows. It's so important because you sleep 
so much of the time and you want to get a good night's sleep while you do so things like this are really important so yeah i honestly couldn't recommend emma enough and i'll leave all my links in the description box down below but without further ado i think we should start the house tour. I, I think we should start in the bedroom today considering we're up here already it's on the top floor we've got three floors in our house so yeah i think we should start in here and then we can go back downstairs and i can show you guys everything else okay so to start off in the bedroom i've never started a house tour in the bedroom but considering we just spoke about emma i thought i may as well show you guys in here so this is our bedroom it is on the top floor so when you walk in this is what it looks like i'm not sure if you can see <laughs> whose side is who but this is bradley's side and then this is my side and um, there's loads of mirrors in here they're basically spare and it's actually quite nice when I'm like filming and stuff I take like little home pictures there and they look really cute um, and then this one was already on the wall and then that is our ensuite in there and then if we pan around here this is like a little office space to be honest I never use it literally never um I don't know if you guys remember but this was actually in my beauty room and I moved it up here because I never used it um and this is where Bradley works if he works from home which doesn't happen a lot but if he does this is where he likes to like set his stuff up um i've also got a ring light in here because i've been filming some like primark calls and stuff in here at the moment and i just haven't taken it down um, and then over here are just some like woven bits that are in here this is a little basket for bradley so every time he's got dirty washing instead of leaving it on the floor in our bedroom i said to him just put it in there and then take it down so he's been really good at doing that um, we've got a little lamp here to be honest with you I kind of want to like change this area up um, this on the wall was when we moved in I think someone had like a floating shelf up here um, so yeah that was left on the wall which is fab um, I, th I feel like I should put like a print or something on there I'm not too sure um, but yeah I do want to change this area up so let me know if you guys had this like what you would do because yeah I'm really intrigued I really want to do it yeah this is what this area looks like so we've got our telly which is central to our bed we've got a virgin box up here and stuff um, and then this is a little lamp from George Asda and then over here we spray this on the bed every day it just smells so nice we've got a little pot here with pampas um, this is like an oil diffuser but I think it's broken I think I lost the cable so I need to get a new one or see if I can just get a cable and then this little candle from dusk Okay, so our actual bed is from a brand called Arista Living. I think I got this maybe four years ago, five years ago. Um, I've had it for a while. I love it. It's an ottoman, so this bit does pull up. You can see the little black lever there. Um, so it's amazing for storage. But I think like, you know, four years ago, the grey was very in and I loved it so much then. But if I was to pick a new bed now, I think I'd go for like a really light beige linen. That's what I'd really want for a new bed. Um, and I'd love it to be like ribbed or like buttoned like that. So yeah, it's not something that I think I need right now. Um, Bradley's side is a bit broken. So I think that was just from moving loads and then rebuilding it and stuff. So I think, yeah, maybe in the future we'll get a new bed. But yeah, this is our bed. So I get questions all the time about our bedding and stuff. So let's start with the actual pillows and the duvet. Um, so these are from a brand called Dusk. And so are these cushions and all the inserts. Oh my God, I really couldn't recommend Dusk enough as a brand. They are incredible. Like the quality of all of their products are just insane. And all of my bedding, I think I've got, we've got three sets of beddings just to rotate. All of them are from Dusk. Like I couldn't have any other bedding now. It's just amazing. So that's the sheet, the duvet cover, um, the actual insert of the duvet and the pillowcases and all the inserts of these cushions. Um, so these top cushions and the cushion covers are from Dusk. Um, you can see they're just such a lovely colour. And then these pillowcases are from H&M Home. So we have two throws in our bed just to make it look a little bit cosy and I loved the kind of like layered effect. This one is from Dusk, as you can see it matches the big one. And then this smaller throw is from H&M Home. And then on here, we've just got a little display. Um, I think all of this is from H&M Home, actually. So yeah, the marble board's from H&M. This is from H&M and the vase. And then I just popped a little bit of pampas in it. So yeah, it just gives it a really nice feel. And I absolutely love it. So as you can see, this side is Bradley's um, with his fan and stuff. And then this is my side. So I like to like try and be as organised as I can. This is a little storage thing which has like my extension leads in, just to keep it a bit tidy. 
I really want to get one for Bradley. It just makes it look so much neater. So our actual bedside tables, I think they're from Amazon, I think. And then I just bought these handles from Amazon as well, um, just to make it look a little bit nicer because the handles I think that they gave were just silver or something. So yeah, I love our bedside tables. They're really big and just perfect. Um, our lamps, I'm obsessed with. Our lamps are both from Wilco. Um, love the look of them. Um, I think they're so lovely and they go really nicely with the bed. Um, I have a phone and Apple Watch like stand thing, which is really handy. And it's got a little plug for my AirPods. Um, I've got some affirmation cards, a candle, and then some perfume. These mirrors are from B&M, so they're either side and then just a little frame. I do, like, I'd love to paint this wall. I'm really tempted. So there's another mirror here. In here, there's actually like two cupboards. They're separate cupboards. We always said, it just seems silly that they've made them two separate. Like it should be one big cupboard, but hey ho. So this is just for like random storage bits. And then in here is Blood Bloodley's. <laughs> in here is Bradley's wardrobe. But I'm not gonna go in because it's his stuff. So and then in here is our ensuite. So yeah, I mean, should have tidied this up properly before, but we mainly just brush our teeth in here, and that is literally it. We don't use it. The shower is awful. It like it's like there's something wrong with the drains. And they, like the shower in here is just not a vibe. So we shower downstairs. Um, and there's just like an old print there and the toilet. So yeah, this is our little ensuite. And then we've got the Ikea mound drawers here. This has got more of Bradley's clothes in. Um, I need to put that ring light away. That ring light usually goes in a bag and goes in here. But because I've been using it, it's just out. So yeah, and of course a fan, which I feel like fans never look nice. I mean, that's probably the nicest looking fan. Fans never look nice, so hopefully next summer we'll get a nicer new one. Um, my little like lampshade is from Asda. I'm trying to think if I've missed anything. Or if I have, just write it in the comments and I'll just put sections of where everything's from as well. But we love our bedroom so much and we always just feel so relaxed every time we come in here and watch loads of telly on here as well. Um, it's just great, so I love it. So let's head downstairs and then I can show you guys from downstairs upwards but i thought i could just show you here now because i'm already up here so as you walk in you are greeted by the doggies and um, this is the hallway <laughs> luna's sitting in her favorite place so to the left over here is the kitchen um here is the electric box and then we've just stuck up some hooks here really rent friendly when we buy a house we're going to make it look so much nicer like with the keys and stuff but it works for now um, a radiator and then if i pan over here we've got the stairs this is our little makeshift gate so the dogs don't go upstairs lottie used to be able to but because of luna's breed she can go up the stairs but can't come back down so it's just easier for us to have that and then to the right over here we've got this floating shelf this is actually a mirrored one and i just didn't like it and i didn't want to get rid of it just yet i think we're going to get like a new ikea one to put our shoes and stuff in but for now this is fine it's actually a drawer um, and i just put this like wooden vinyl sticker over it to make it look like a wooden floating shelf we've got our wax melt lamp here um pampas of course and then a white company diffuser and then a spray and then up here is probably the only family picture in our whole entire house but i need to like reprint them because i actually printed them way too big um they're like an inch too big so this is what they came out like and that's that's the size of the actual square i think tonight i'm going to reprint the right size but it's just quite a nice corner to walk into and then i've always got one of these on i obviously turn them off when i'm out and about when i'm at home i love to pop them on and then of course our wax melt burner so let's start in the kitchen first this is our very baby tiny kitchen which I feel like is so small for this house. One thing that we've like learned from like renting is we want a massive kitchen with like an island and stuff, but obviously this is absolutely fine for now. Um, so as you walk in, we've popped a lamp here. I've got another diffuser burning, I'm obsessed. And um, we have some floating shelves up there just to add a little bit extra and it makes it really look a bit bigger. We have our drying rack and our sink and then a little shelf over there just filled with like soap and little summery bits, which will soon be changed to autumn we have our milk frother kettle toaster and then coffee machine and um, these are beautiful sunflowers that my gorgeous cousin got for me which are just so pretty and then we've got a little display of chopping boards over there and then these are like little salt and pepper things from H&M I'll try and list like links to most things that I show you in the description box I'll do it in sections so I'll put like kitchen front room da -da -da -da, so in case you guys wanted to shop 
um we absolutely love this coffee machine it's amazing the one thing we would say we mainly just use it for espressos and then use our milk frother this isn't very good <laughs> but it actually makes really nice like coffee so we just use this one oh didn't mean to turn it on um, i've got some fake flowers here just to add a little bit of something these i think are from Dunelm maybe and then the vase is from Primark my chopping boards majority of the time they're from like TK Maxx or HomeSense so yeah I just love them um we've always got a wax melt burning here I feel like especially in the kitchen it's nice to just make it smell extra nice and then we've got a microwave and then on top we've just got this little basket this I'm not going to say it because it will turn on just doesn't want to work anymore just doesn't want to work um, and then this is a little phone stand and we also use this when we're cooking with like our hello fresh and we put the cards on it makes it really easy this is a really cute like cooking spoon i mean you don't use this to cook it's from next time um, and you basically you put it like here while you're cooking you can mix your sauce and stuff like that and then you can put the spoon that you're using on there so it doesn't make your worktops go all stained or anything um, so we love that that took me ages to find like literally months I was trying to look for the perfect one and that was from next home and then we've got overfilling baskets here which definitely need a little bit of a sort out and then this is our like extended kitchen kind of thing that we got um, this is from the range um, I've got a little organization stand over here which I love I use this and this every single day and um, we wrapped it in marble and then I've got my little cake stand um, so we've got the marble one and then this is really cute like the little dome one this bowl is usually filled with lemons or limes which I love to have with water and then a little candle and then just some drawers and then the dog food um, and then our washing machine is there this is actually like a wash dryer so it is both but we mainly just use it for washing because the drying I'm not the biggest fan of <laughs> so we mainly just use it for a washing machine um, and then as we come out this is the view so you can see the stairs there and then the front doors there so if we turn this way this is our hallway so I've just turned the lamp on and it makes it so cute and cozy I feel like it's very overcast today and such a cozy day so our rug is from Amazon we literally love this thanks Luna um, and then in there is like a little bathroom which I'll show you guys in a second so this is probably one of my favorite views of the house I just love it if you guys have followed my vlogs you will see that I done like a little DIY project with this little like paneling thing painted it um, and I love it. it just makes it so cozy so our console table is from Amazon um, I love this basket which is from Dunelm like I said I'll link everything down below we wanted it to feel really like nice and cozy and homely so I popped a cushion in there and a little throw and I absolutely love it so on top of here is a lamp if you guys follow me on TikTok you will know that this lamp here <laughs> looks like this basically we don't have a plug on this wall and because we rent we obviously can't get an electrician in to fit one in so I've just got batteries and popped it so I've just got these like battery lamp things stuck two together um, and it looks really good and it also comes with a control so you can kind of like change what setting you want it and I love it I always wanted a lamp here and I thought oh my god I can't have one but I can and then I just put the wire to that lamp in the basket so it kind of looks like a real lamp but it isn't um, and then I've got a next diffuser here this smells amazing so this one is in the scent garden terrace smell this when you next go to next home it's incredible it lasts ages I've got one in here and also in my beauty room it just smells really like fresh and it's such a nice scent to walk into in your home and I can always smell it which is a plus um, and then I've got some books here so this is the white company one this is always on offer for I think 20 pounds they're coming up with a new white company book and I'm so excited um, and then this book as well which is from Amazon they were both from Amazon I've got a little winter candle which has been out all year but I love it I never use it but it is meant for like if your candle is lit and you want to put it out you just pop it on top and apparently that's the way that you're meant to blow a candle out um, and I really like the look of it and then I've got a little vase here with pampas in it this will be changed to autumn soon um, and the vase is from Primark and then the pampas all my pampas is from Tony Dunn flowers I love this mirror 
like actually love it it's such a nice mirror to just walk past and you can see like your outfit um and it's just so big before if you've watched my vlogs i had i think it was eight like little mirrors which were nice and i liked the vibe but this one is just so much better and i feel like it's just makes it more like classy if you know what i mean so it's super big and I just love it. And I wasn't sure whether to go for the gold or the black, but I'm so happy I went with the black because it matches the legs to that. And I don't want it to be too neutral. I want a little bit of contrast as well. Um, so yeah, I love this. This is probably my favorite bit in the house, like seeing this view. And it's so nice to walk into, especially when I've cleaned the house come home and I walk into it it's like the best thing um so in here is the bathroom this is probably the only bathroom I'm going to show you because they're all very similar and the other ones need cleaning so this is our downstairs bathroom really simple honestly when we buy a house I cannot wait to just do bathrooms up but when you rent you kind of have to just make do with what you've got so over here <laughs> is the toilet and um, we've got a basket here full of like candle and like smelly things a little print which is actually meant to go on the wall and um, this is a silicone toilet brush amazing and um, there's a little chanel book there we've got our toilet roll in here and um, our sink there another round mirror um, and these two shelves i absolutely love they're from sainsbury's and i think i got both of them they come in a set for like 12 pounds i just love them um, and they match the light shade as well, which is from Ikea really well. Um, and then on top of here, I mean, <laughs> there's nothing in here. I need to pop something in there. Um, I've got a peony candle. And then this candle is from B&M. It smells amazing and it just goes with the theme. And then our bathroom smells of this. So if you smell Wild Blackberry from the White Company, this is what our downstairs bathroom smells like. It's so nice. Um, so yeah, that is our bathroom our cute little downstairs bathroom and then as we walk into here is like the lounge and the dining area um i did make nice hoover lines for you guys but the dogs have gone over it so this is what it looks like when you walk in very open plan in here and then we've got our dining table over there so let's start in this section so i've changed this up a lot and um, this used to have a marble table here which is there and it's just got some of my work bits on and we've got our foldable treadmill there, which I use if I don't go to the gym or if I don't do my steps. So this is from Ikea and I bought these baskets as well from Ikea. They've just got my work stuff in. I edit and stuff a lot on the sofa because I love to be cozy and I'm really productive. So I have everything there, which makes it so much easier. This I did put over there, but I actually preferred it out. So I've just popped some coasters on it, little flowers. And then these are really nice, like mantras which i just love they're really positive like affirmations and they make me very happy so our sofa is from sofa club we love it it's such a lovely color and a really comfortable sofa although one thing i would say is if you get a scatter back it's a lot of effort that's the only thing you kind of have to like plump the cushions up um, and i spent ages plumping them this morning and they still don't look that immaculate so i think the next sofa we go for will be like the proper like comfy back ones um but i do really love it um, and then we've got an ikea mirror up there i really want to buy two lights to go either side i think that'll look really cute so on our sofa we have this little basket it's just got controls in it just makes it look really cozy and it's a really nice way to keep your controls organized um, and then the white and then black contrast cushions are from Danelm. they're amazing like i literally couldn't fault them i love them so much um, and then if we walk over here you can kind of see into our garden we've got an alexa there which i don't want to say too loud a lamp which is from habitat and then my two vases which are from h&m home and more pampas i think this pampas is from amazon actually um, and then we've got our curtains up here and we went for black poles just to add a little bit of contrast. We've got a little Luna here. Um, over here we've got like a little table. I think I want to get a new table. I think I'm over this one. This is from B&M. Um, it's actually meant to be like a drinks table. So I think I might keep it, put it in the garage. And then when we like host, we can put like drinks and stuff on it. But I think I'm going to get a new table to go here. Um, and then this is our very big, very big throw basket, which is used every single day. This throw 
is used for decoration just to add a little bit of like a comfort and stuff and every time Bradley uses it I'm like what are you doing no you can't he just doesn't get it um, and then out here is into our garden which <laughs> is a total mess so let's skip that area so over here we've got our virgin box I really want to get and I've seen it on Ikea and I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about it's like a woven box and people like cut a hole in the back so the wires can fit through and then put their box their like virgin or sky box in it and I really want to do that. So next time I go to Ikea, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I've got some books here. So the White Company and then also another little beautifully organised book. A candle there. And then these are like battery operated candles, which are cute. They kind of like flicker. So over here, I popped the fire on the telly to make it cosy. And we've got a lamp there. An empty frame, which we need to fill. Um, this lamp I love. It's from the range. I've actually got two of these in our house because I loved it so much. It's just such a nice like ribbed neutral with like gold. Oh, I just love it. Um, and then I'm burning this candle at the moment. This is English Pear and Freesia. Freesia? I think that's how you say it. And it smells amazing, honestly, I love it. So this marble cabinet, I get questions on all the time. We bought it from DFS. I think it's from a brand called Dwell, which DFS like stocked um, and we got it in the sale and we love it the only thing is the bottom right drawer is broken um so i don't know if you guys can see very slightly it kind of lifts out a little bit so we try not to open that one but it's really good for storage um, and we used to have the fireplace here but as you can see we move the fireplace over there and we much prefer it it kind of makes it feel like longer in here having that there it's just yeah we love it so it's a win-win because there's a lot of storage as well i have a white company oil diffuser here um i need to refill it actually because it's just gone out but oh my god i recommend this if you want your whole house to just smell amazing get this and then buy like little oil burn like diffuser kind of things pop a few drops in there with water and your whole house will smell amazing i i honestly pop this on every day and then over here i love this area um so we have an architectural digest book here which i'm obsessed with but but it got ruined and i'm not sure what this mark is here but it's fine um i just love the neutral tones with the black contrast i think it looks so nice a ribbed oil diffuser here or oil burner which is from next home more pampas the vase i think was one pound from ikea and yeah i just love this area so much um so moving on over here um as you can see like that's obviously the way to the hallway so this is our dining area we don't actually sit here a lot but we do sometimes and it is really nice we're having a date night tonight at home so we're gonna sit there um, and it'll just be really cute so our table and chairs are both from Dunelm I think they're called Kendall I know the table's called Kendall I'm not sure on the chairs but we love it although I do want to get a new table I want to get like a really light wooden round table and um, I have one in my head and every time I google it I can't find it so I need to like keep looking so if you guys know any like nice light wood round tables let me know we have some disenio prints our house is filled with disenio prints as you guys know um this little tray is from h&m home the vase is from tesco's this is mrs hinch's range i love it um, and then these flowers are from Darnell, i think um, and they come in like a bunch which i think are cute so our fireplace, I think we got on Facebook Marketplace for £50, but I think they sell it in Wayfair, um, and I can't wait to light it. It doesn't actually, like, you could, there's like a heat setting, so if you want heat to come out of it, you can do that, or you can just have the lights flickering, which is what we usually do. Um, and then on top, I've just put a book, <laughs> another candle, which you guys know I love, um, and a little vase here. This lamp. I love we used to have like another one which was just like a bulb and it was too bright so we've gone for this one instead and I like the black contrast because it just brings it in and then we've got the dog's bed here which they love they love to be nice and cozy and they love having a throw because they go underneath it so that's their favorite <laughs> Lottie's here hello so yeah that is the front room and like dining area super cozy we love to like put the footstool in get cozy and cuddle together um, and watch loads of telly and we're watching suits at the moment so we just love it it's just so nice and cozy so we just love it in here so much but yeah i definitely want a new table okay so as you come up the stairs 
this is what you see. So I've got a nice mirror here. I remember when I ordered this, it was meant to be for my beauty room and it was a lot smaller. Um, but we put it here. It's like a Moroccan style. I love it. We've got an ottoman here. This is full of our tools. A nice way to stay organised. And then we put a throw over the top because I'm over the grey, you know. So I wanted to like kind of like half disguise it. Another coffee table book. And a candle, of course, because we have candles everywhere in our house. At the top of the landing, here we've got my beauty room. This is an airing cupboard. This is like the main bathroom, the light is on. Um, and then in here is my wardrobe room. And then obviously upstairs is to the bedroom. So I love how this looks. I mean, I do want to change it. We kind of just popped it here over time. I don't think that goes there, but it's just kind of stayed over time, I think. A print would look a lot better there but yeah I just need to properly plan it so let's go into my beauty room which is one of my favorite rooms in the house this is probably the room I spend most of my time in <laughs> hello um because I get ready in here I film in here I relax in here it's just a room for like everything so yeah as you walk in this is what you see so over here we've got loads of drawers these are from Ikea and then we put gold handles on and the gold handles are from Amazon. And um, we have like a cute pampas display of flowers here in a vase. Um, I popped some frames up here just to make it, give it like that, the panelling kind of effect. We have some coffee table books here with a candle on. I love lighting this candle at the moment. I really want to buy the big autumn candle from the White Company. Um, I really want to go to Bista because they're always so much cheaper in Bista. They're normally £60, but in Bista they're always 40 so... Um, I really want to go soon. Um, we've got another lamp here. This is the same as the one that I showed you downstairs. So yeah, I just love this area so much. And because I sit here and I get my tripod and film, this is the view. Um, and I just wanted to make it really peaceful and neutral and calming. Um, but also a space that I just love. So I love this. And I love the different like texture and colours of books. Here, so this is from Ikea. This is, I think they're called Kallax. Um, and then the actual baskets are from Ikea as well. I love them. They're filled with products and random bits and bobs like that. Over here, these drawers. So they're actually more expensive than the bigger Malm drawers from Ikea. These are from Amazon, I think. They're rubbish. Like the quality of them are awful but I just kept them for storage. Over here we've got another candle um, and then a little jewellery box. This box is from H&M Home and I love it. I just pop my favourite like go-to jewellery. So these mirrors I always get questions on. They're both from William Wood Mirrors and I love them. I love the look of this one especially. I think it's just so cool. Um, and then over here we've got a little display. So the marble board and the vase are both from H&M Home. This is from Primark. And then these are from Amazon, I think. So yeah, this is the bigger William Wood Arch Mirror. Um, they do sell two sizes, but I got the bigger one. I think I could have got the smaller one. I didn't have to get it, but it does make the room look very big and I do love it. It's really good when you're taking pictures because you can kind of just see everything and I love it. Um, my outfit, by the way, is from Primark. And if you watch my Primark haul on Sunday, you'd have seen this. It is so cosy and I just love it. Um, again, I've got more pampas here. My sister actually bought me this vase for my birthday and I love it. It's like the nicest thing ever. And it's from a little like family company. And I can't remember the name of it. I'll try and find it on Instagram because I just love it. And then I pop some pampas in there. And um, because it's like quite big on the top and the pampas kept falling out, I had to tie the pampas up at the bottom with like hair bands. And it's fine. I mean, it is balancing, but it's fine for now. My curtains and the curtain poles are from Ikea. They were so affordable. Um, I do need to like cut the ends and then like sew them, but it's just been a job that I really can't be bothered to do if I'm being completely honest. Um, I have a picture frame here, which needs to be filled. And then this is again, the garden terrace one, like diffuser from next home. So this area is just my absolute favorite in my beauty room. We recently changed it. I did have like other, um, dressing table and stuff before but it was just I didn't like the quality. Ikea is 
really good for quality and also you kind of know what you're going to get and I just wanted it to be really simple and then we popped gold handles on which are similar to these ones but just a little bit smaller and I love it so in here I've got my beauty products and my skincare I really wanted like a real marble top to go on top of here but I just couldn't find one to like get cut um I'd love to like know if anyone knows if anyone sells like a real marble like top to go on top of the ikea mom drawers because i'd love that but for now i've got this little chopping board kind of thing which is from h&m home um, and then i've just popped some favorite products on here so i've got a neon de-stressed home mist and um, poppy and barley cologne oh my god that smells insane this is one of my favorites from joe malone this is another calm <laughs> kind of pulse point oil which is from the white company if i'm feeling a bit overwhelmed or stressed i love to spray them and um, these are just brushes that i don't use they're just for display for like my dressing table in a neon jar which had a candle in before and i just reused it for that um, and then this candle is from Primark. I am obsessed with these candles from Primark. I've got two of them and I just, oh, I love them. I don't want to light them. This small mirror is from Amazon Home. Um, and then the vase and the eucalyptus are both from Primark. Oh, and then this mirror here is from Dunelm. So if you've watched my vlogs, I think it was a week ago, um, I organized this drawer with you and it makes me feel really happy and satisfied. I love how it looks it's just so tidy and it honestly makes me want to like keep on top of it I really like the wooden organizers because the acrylic ones I just I don't like like the plastic and acrylic ones are not my vibe I think this is just a lot classier and it looks really lovely so I'm obsessed and then over here I've just got like a little marble board kind of thing which is from I think this is from Dunelm Pampas in here and then in here I've got some grips and stuff so I've got a vase here I need to rearrange the eucalyptus because you can literally see the tags but I've got eucalyptus there and um, my neon diffuser I literally put this on every single day and these are what I use and um, these like oil fragrance oils they're amazing these are 2 dollars each I tell everyone about them because I'm like I think from the white company the fragrance oils are 10 pounds each so this is 2 dollars which is amazing, and they do loads of different scents. So I pop that one in here. That is what my beauty room smells like. And then behind here, we've got some chargers for my battery. And then moving on to over here. So I love this print. The print is from Desenio, and then the massive frame is from Ikea. I've got more storage there. I'll show you guys that in a second. This is like my chill area. Um, I love to sit here and like read a book or go on my phone or go on my iPad on Pinterest. It's just really like zen. Um, so the t oh, do you know what? I can't remember where the chair and the stool is from. It's from a site that I was really shocked that I got it from. I'll try and link it down below. This marble little coffee table is from H&M. Um, and then I've got marble coasters on top. This is another one of the Primark candles. Um, I've got a little roller. Um, and then a book here that I'm reading at the moment. And then my new favourite bag, which is from Teddy Blake. You guys literally love this. And then over here, I have my gold rail, which has some clothes on from H&M and Primark at the moment. So let's just ignore those. Um, and then I've got more Ikea sort of drawers and storage. So I've got a wardrobe up here, more mound drawers. Um, I've got some straighteners up there, which shouldn't be there. And then more like flowers and stuff so yeah so yeah i absolutely love my beauty room um i really want to paint one of the walls the same color as the hallway downstairs so like the grays you kind of color i'm really tempted to do this wall i'm not sure let me know what you guys think but yeah i love it in here so like i said in here is one of the bathrooms um it's basically the same as the downstairs one but just a bit bigger but it does need a clean so <laughs> let's just not go in there um, and then I've got another Desenio print here a mirror which is from Ikea like a smaller one um, and then this is our cute little window I love looking out this window in the autumn because it's so nice watching the leaves change colour and it's just my favourite view so yeah I can't wait for them to change and then in here is my wardrobe room. So it looks really messy at the moment, but it's actually so organized. Um, although we took all the 
autumn stuff from the garage so this is just placed in here at the moment um so i've got all my autumn stuff here and over here so just imagine that wasn't there and it'd be all clear it's just an easy way to store things because i don't go in here a lot obviously to literally get ready um i really want ikea wardrobes to kind of just go like that um but because we rent these aren't our wardrobes so oh, they have to do for now but yeah not the biggest fan um, but it does look messy but i promise you it's really organized so i've got like loungy bits up here leftover summer stuff which needs to go in the garage um and then some bags the row and stuff like that but yeah as you can see this is the autumn stuff and so is this so it looks very messy and then we go upstairs obviously to the bedroom so that was the end of the house tour i really hope you guys enjoyed it um i get questions all the time and i think because i've changed like certain things in the house um i wanted to just give you guys a little bit more of like an updated one i'm decorating for autumn next week so i also wanted to film this video before i like decorate and stuff just to show you guys little updates that i've done recently over the past few months um, and then yeah I'm decorating next week which is just so exciting I honestly can't wait and I'm excited to make it like even more cozier and warmer and like homelier I just I love it so thank you so much for watching I like I said I'll pop links to everything including Emma in the description box down below don't forget to use my code and you'll get five percent off and um, thank you for coming around my house and seeing my house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!